Just begin to pray, just begin to pray. Just begin to pray wherever you are. Litos, Everaton, Tamvele, San Paradeke, Ebrante, Avele, Katom, Mananton, Ivaros, Kapala, Katom, Barai, Las Ebantesh, Kabaras, Kevede, Atom, Baratelika. We thank you, Lord. We bless your name because you are God. Makoras, Eleve, Etenemo, Shalamahari, Di Aseve, Etomai, Mentos, Apandu, Kaparadikai, Liraso, Vide, Einton, Arekete Ivantos, Vinainde Itolaka Ba Aroitan Ba Atolika Parudakai, Elege Baros, Kavanteli Abaritike Mos, Kavaritekai, Zakraidan Toma Raiden Tepala Arodian, Vilai Tose Bereketom Baraskele Parede Eteta V, Mia Vele Korate Meandon Maase Bright Eye, Liaruas Abantu Redi Atoya Me Oshka Barakatom, Raklai Totos Ikarakatai Ton Kapai, Liga Barateli. Katam banande kai lakabarus etem banai ten tus atai librita tonei sampala ready etonamasa lakoredi asombre atai zolebre katai jika kato kakankurei tala miza zuara katande leza parede latte katoli kata gabara kata ligabara kadi kababa gata ah you come up megebe de kata ya regagage de kata la mande kata miga bratelis Abarata mantos kapala di kando kai mega brata lis abara di atomas kabarata mezia talaman de kataya ilege brata likas kabarata idon shapai mendendos kapala kata miga brata lis abara tambanata lelel katom barata lega bala katua bawe kata kapala katoma ilege bara katom banas ke barata liza zuala katam agagrute Les kapala ibala katom bara tele katom bara tele kata lega deke ya katom bara kata la katom bere kata la katam dele kata dala katula kapala kata la gita la kapola kapa bala katua la kata kala katua la kata kala katua la kata kala every katom bara zige deke ya katom bara tala katom bara tekando e ba 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 gaga dua la tande ya e gabra tala. Zidu du du yata ebrianto le kapala katuala 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 brikatomala in the name of Jesus we pray in Jesus name we pray look at your neighbor and say that grace look at him and say that grace is the reason I am here the grace is the reason I will go beyond where I am where I am. I might not look like my destiny, but grace qualified me. I might not look like where I'm going, but grace qualifies me. Hallelujah. Praise God. My God, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you look wonderful. You look wonderful. I, I can't hear you. I can't hear you. It's, say, neighbor, you look wonderful. Yeah, I, I, I come straight from the gate oh, and I'm not good with silence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just look at that neighbor once again and say, neighbor, you look wonderful. Hallelujah. Praise God. Welcome, welcome to the house of the Lord. And I believe God that God has a word for you. God wants to equip you. And uh, I believe God that with the word that is being loaded into your spirit, there is something unusual that God is about to do. Holding on to the word of the Lord. Holding on to the word of the Lord and to the doctrine. Holding on and knowing that you are operating under the grace of God. Praise God. Praise God. Isn't God wonderful? Praise God. Sit down like a person who's in charge. Amen. Praise God. Sit down like a person who's in charge as we, as we get into the word of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My God, my God, my God, my God. When you walk, when you sit down, authority has to be seen. When you walk, when you sit down, when you talk, authority has to be seen. 
am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Authority has to be seen. Amen. You, you realize that one of the one of the essence of the gospel is power. According to science, power is the ability to cause change. Power is the ability to cause change. Amen. Have you ever seen when a president is passing by? He, he, he does not just pass by himself, but there is what is called an entourage. In front of him, there are cars. Behind him, there are cars. Besides him, there is security. You realize that the arrival or the passing of such a man with power pauses every other event. Because power commands attention. Am I communicating to somebody? And it's striking to see maybe when there are certain presidents, when they travel from their countries, even when they are coming to a nation, before they even come, there is a cargo plane that comes before they come. Yes, that cargo plane will come with the cars they will drive in your nation. Sure. And it will come with a clinic. Because meters from where they are, there has to be a clinic. And wherever they are passing by weeks before they arrive, that whole place has to be secured and business might be closed. Even in the country that is not theirs. Why? Because of the power they carry. When Apostle Paul says, <laughs> I'm not ashamed of the gospel because it is the power to salvation. A lot of people think salvation is when people rush to the front and say, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. That is the little glimpse of what salvation is all about. Am I communicating to somebody here? Am I communicating to somebody here? That is the little glimpse of what salvation is all about. Salvation <laughs> means to save. So salvation is not only about the soul. There is salvation of the flesh. There is salvation of the finances. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. That is why Jesus, when he comes, he says, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. Now imagine Jesus speaking and he's saying, I have been anointed to preach to the poor. That preaching to the poor, there is an anointing that is needed. Because it's not just preaching. That's why he comes and he says the words that I speak, they are spirit and they are life. That when I speak to you, I'm not just speaking words. I am imparting a spirit. Words are not just common. Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? That is why we need to get to a place where we defend the faith. Look at your neighbor and say defending the faith. Look at him by saying, contending for the faith. Contending for the faith. Defending the faith. Defending the faith. Michael, you getting somebody? Yes, Let us see what prophecy says. First Timothy chapter number four from verse one. First Timothy chapter number four from verse one. But the Holy Spirit explicitly, do you know the word explicitly? If, if you know what that word means and where they, they use it mostly. But the Bible is saying the Holy Spirit. <laughs> the Holy Spirit explicitly and unmistakably declares that in the later times, some will turn away from the faith, paying attention instead to deceitful and seductive spirits and doctrines of demons, says Seductive spirits and doctrines of demons. Ah, God, how I love that word. Misled 
by hypocrisy of liars whose conscience are seared as with a branded iron, leaving them e incapable of ethical functioning. Now, when you read that scripture, there are things that are very striking that are written in that scripture. That every believer should get concerned while at least you are reading that scripture. The Bible says that in the later times, and the spirit begins to declare, it means it was a prophecy that was being released. And listen to the spirit speak, and the spirit now begins to explain something there. It says in the later times, many shall depart from the faith. Now, it is very striking when scripture comes and it declares that in the later times, people shall depart from the faith. Now, you understand that there, is, there are things that are being spoken there. There is a difference between your faith and being in the faith. Because your faith is a function of of your understanding. Faith comes by hearing and hearing the word. So your faith grows the more you have intimacy with God. And understanding him as God. Am I explaining in a simple way? Your faith grows in you understanding God. Because when you understand him, you grow the ability of believing in him because you are now understanding him. You now know his capacity. So it is easy for you to stand in faith. Because you now understand God's capacity. You can stand and declare. Because you are now understanding his capacity. My communicating to somebody. So when a person tells you that it can't be done. Because you understand that through God it can be done. You can stand and declare. My communicating to somebody. My communicating to somebody. Amen. You can stand and declare. You can stand and contend. But the faith is a culture. It's a lifestyle. Because you can only believe in something you do not know. But when you now know, you are now living in a culture. So faith that can be weak is a faith, the faith of someone who is still believing, not someone who now knows. So Apostle Paul says in the later days, the spirit is saying, many shall depart from the faith. And when they depart from the faith, they shall begin to give heed, meaning giving ear or attention. Now look at this. To what? Number one, doctrines. To what? To seductive spirits. Now seductive spirits, whenever you hear the word seduction, before you try to explain the word seduction, you need to understand that there is no seduction without appetite. Am I communicating to somebody? You can never be seduced to something that you do not have appetite over. Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? And you can never have appetite of something you have never tested. So if you have never ate sugar, it will not fascinate you. If you have never ate sugar, it will not what? Fascinate you. And you never have the appetite for sugar. Praise God. Amen. So many shall depart from the faith. And they shall begin to give heed to doctrines of devils. Now, what begins to surprise me is number one, what was spoken was seductive spirits. Meaning there are spirits that specialize in seducing. There are spirits that specialize in what? In seducing. Seducing. 
So it means the devil also, they have projects that they plan. You have to understand that there are projects that are planned for people, especially every human being. You have to get to a place where spiritually you analyze and understand the projects that the enemy is planning over against your life. Every great man, you understand when you study the Bible, we have been given a prototype of how the enemy operates. When Jesus was born, the Bible declares that the, the, the Herod wanted to kill every child, meaning the plan, of, the plan of the kings or the authority of that time was to make sure Jesus was exterminated. That's why even those that killed him were men of authority that were priests. Am I communicating to somebody? So when physically they failed, the enemy studied Jesus for 30 years, waited for him when he was 30 years, and he himself, the devil, came to tempt him. That they have not killed him. Now they wanted to seduce him. Oh, somebody, you are not catching it. So because they could not kill him, the plan was now to seduce him. Ten stones to bread. Because he's already hungry. So what can seduce a man who's hungry except food? Do you know that a satisfied man, a person without hunger can never be corrupt? Okay, let's leave it. I hear what I'm saying. I hear what I'm saying. <laughs> so when the enemy seizes and fails to destroy you. The second thing he has to do, number one, is to try to bring you, to buy you to his side. Let's bring you. So he showed him the kingdoms of the world. And the Bible says, after showing him the kingdoms of the world, the Bible says, and the devil said, I will give this to you. Just bow before me. Do you know I was explaining to someone that the devil did not say to Jesus, you will stop preaching. He said, bow and I will give you all these things. Meaning, you can continue with your assignment, but knowing that you have surrendered your worship and soul to me. So you can still, there are people that can still be preaching, yet it's only just the facade of unfulfilling destiny, but they have sold themselves to the devil. That's why in the Bible, the Bible says, I believe in Matthew 17, Jesus said, they will come to me and say, we prophesied, we cast out demons, we preached in your name. I will say to them, be gone, for I do not know you. The word I do not know you, it means there is nothing of me that is in you. Because I can only identify you by relationship. And relationship can only be identified by DNA. <laughs> so the DNA, the spirit, who is the seal, is not seen in you. So we are not disputing that prophecy was done. We are disputing that his presence. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. Praise God. So, if he does not destroy you, the second thing he will do is to try to bring you. And sometimes in bringing you, what the enemy does is he will try to bring people that have what you want. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody? There are many people that have been taken to places like Dubai because they were told they were greener pastures. Some of them, they never came back. Some of them, even today, no one knows where they are. I hear what I'm saying. I hear what I'm saying. If you look at politics, especially in the world, you realize that when a person is an upcoming politician, or upcoming preacher. 
you will see the vibrance and the words of purity spoken advocating for the right things until they are given a test of what made others to be corrupt. Suddenly the message begins to change. And already when a person joins, why does the enemy want you to join? Because there is a term called self-destruction. Because the enemy understands that he cannot destroy you except at the consent of two beings. God or yourself. So it's either you allow him or he's allowed. And God no longer allows him after Jesus died. So what he does, he manipulates people from surrendering themselves. Sometimes through their confession. Where you look at yourself and tell yourself, I can't do this. I can't achieve this. So the moment you confess it, you have given him authority to facilitate his plan. When you read your Bible in 2 Corinthians chapter number 2, verse 11. In 2 Corinthians 2, verse 11. The Bible says, let the, let lest Satan takes advantage of us. We are not ignorant of his devices. Lest Satan takes advantage of us, we are not ignorant of his devices. You know, Apostle Paul is bringing a study, an analysis of how the devil operates. And how believers get to a place where they are captured and destroyed. So, he highlights to us that the enemy takes advantage. He wants to stand at an advantage point and he stands at an advantage point at the detriment of believers' ignorance. There are things you choose to ignore that are important for your survival in your Christian work that the enemy takes advantage of. That is why you realize that there are certain messages that feel uncomfortable. And in my little years of living on earth, I have understood that bitter medicine cures the best. Michael, me getting this number. Bitter medicine cures the best. So ignorance has made a lot of believers to be taken advantage by the enemy. Am I, most of the times the word being taken advantage, we see it when someone elderly uses the ignorance or the ill knowledge or lack of information of a person or a minor. That's where that word is mostly used. That you do not know who you are in God and what you are supposed to do. The enemy takes advantage of you. I love it when the Bible speaks in the book of 2 Corinthians. The Bible says that thus you have been given the Holy Spirit so that you may know what God has freely given you. That if you do not know what has been freely given you, you might spend years praying <laughs> over things that you already handed over to you. Now, imagine even in as much as we are believers, there are people that have ascribed to a doctrine called the Daniel fasting. <laughs> no, if you have fasted that fasting, I'm not saying. <laughs> I, I, I'm just trying to communicate that. There are people that have ascribed to someone who came with the doctrine and said there is something called the Daniel fasting. Are you hearing me? Especially if you are watching me there. Now, Daniel fasted for 20, 21 days. And he was in prayer. And he's praying and for 21 days. Praying and fasting. 
Yatokopa, Breke Takayata, every morning Zatotoka Palata, April 21 days, a man is praying and fasting. Only for an angel to come and tell him, from the first day you prayed, God answered you. <laughs> so, 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 imagine. To someone, it's now a, a, a type of fasting. <laughs> Whereby out of lack of insight of spiritual activities, because Daniel did not see what was happening in the spirit, he never got a confirmation. And because of lack of sensitivity, understanding that my prayer has already been answered, he continued praying for 20 days. Then someone comes and affirms that ignorance of lack of sensitivity to the spirit and says, I'm going for 21 Daniel fasting. Do you understand what was happening to Daniel? <laughs> that himself, God had already answered him. And the prayer he's doing, even heaven is confused. Why are you still asking of something we've already released? So someone is doing 21 days and heaven is saying, do you really know that Daniel, we had already answered him and we were confused? Uh, am I communicating to somebody here? Yeah. So there are certain things that before you just grab them and run with them, you need to investigate. That before we start rushing up with Easter, where is it coming from? Goddess Esther. So why are Easter bunnies and eggs being brought there? Because she was a goddess of fruitfulness and multiplication. So hence eggs and rabbits. Rabbits, they give birth. Don't play. Don't play. <laughs> So before you carry it and put Jesus in the event, understand, is there any significance on why we should say Christmas and we say we are celebrating the birth of Christ, yet there is a man called the Santa Claus who is traveling at night giving gifts, riding on animals, and there is a tree that has to be put in a house and we put gifts under that they have to sleep the whole night and only we have to take them in the morning. What is the significance of the tree and why are gifts having to sleep there the whole night? So many depart from faith and the devil takes advantage because of ignorance. Because my grand-grand-grandmother did it, let me just do it. Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? Everything you might see the enemy bringing to you as if it is nice. Understand this. There is a hidden meaning. There is something hidden in it. So that you will not run away at first glance. You know what the enemy does? The enemy wants you to get used. Do you know how men, that men are attacked on every side? Most of the agendas of the enemy is to find a way to attack men. Most of the bills that are passed by governments, when you look at them very carefully, <laughs> why? Because if the agenda passes and we are able to disarm men, we have already broken the order of God. So every advert that has to come out, no matter it is soap, it is chocolate, we have to bring out a naked woman. So as to force men to react. And what begins to happen, you begin to understand that the more, the more you see those things. Do you know the reason why there are many divorces in our times? Because people have seen so much nakedness that is not sacred. So what was supposed to be sacred is no longer sacred. 
So if it's no longer sacred, it cannot be valued. So it, if it cannot be valued, it cannot be what? Secured. You can't, you, you, you can't put security on something that does not have value. So someone will just tell you, I know, if you miss this one, <laughs> there is another bus. <laughs> Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? Praise God. Praise God. So that is what the enemy wants. When you read your Bible, there is what I call the Balaam's advice. I will teach when I'm teaching about the prophetic, about the Balaam's doctrine. But there is a Balaam's advice when you read your Bible, especially in the book of um, Numbers. Numbers 31 and Numbers 25. When Balaam was called by King Balak to prophesy against the children of what? Of Israel. Do you know how many prophecies he released according to the Bible? Four different kinds of prophecies. Again, is the children of Israel. And every time he wanted to open up his mouth, God would touch his tongue. And instead of cursing, he would bless. I pray in the mighty name and the blood of Jesus. As they are about to open their mouth to speak your name, may God touch their tongue to speak good about you. While they are about to open their mouth against you in a contract, may God just touch the tongue. When they will be in front of that person who might change your life forever and they have a chance to mention your name, may God just touch their tongue. Amen. So for me, whatever I see in the Bible, I begin to take it into the prayer room because I know that is possible. So imagine when he wanted to open up his mouth, God would just touch the tongue. And the words, listen, listen. And the words he would speak were not the words he meant to speak. Ah, you didn't catch it. <laughs> there are contracts that you be given that were not meant. There are favors you be given that were not meant, but just because they've seen your face. May grace speak for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say, may grace speak for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us go to the book of 1 Peter. Chapter 3. 1 Peter chapter 3 verse 18. So the enemy for years has been in an agenda to try to make sure that a lot of believers get to a place where they are disarmed of their authority. A lot of, people get to, a lot of believers get to a place where they are disarmed of how they should survive. Praise God. 1 Peter chapter number 3. Verse 18. Are you there? Amen. Are you there? Yes, sir. Now, now who is there to hurt you if you become enthusiastic for what is good? But even if you should suffer for the sake of righteousness, Though it is not certain that you will. Look at it and say, it's not certain, it's not certain. That, I will suffer. that I will suffer. You are still blessed, happy to be admired and favored by God. Now, uh, th there are certain ways that when they are spoken for me, I take them serious. Did you hear what the Bible says? To be admired. That, that God, there is a way you can live. And God admires it. You didn't hear me. In a generation that is corrupt and you are standing to say me, I cannot be corrupt. Do not be afraid of their intimidation threats. Nor be troubled or disturbed by their opposition. But in your hearts set Christ as holy. Acknowledging him Giving him first place in your life. Say, giving him first place in my life as Lord. Always be ready to give a logical defense to anyone who asks you to account for the hope and confidence, assurance, elicited by faith that is within you. Yet, 
do it with gentleness, calmness, and respect. There is a way you stand for God. There is a way heaven will admire you and you get to a place where boldness is grown in you. The word we heard in the morning, the Bible says that ah, there is a way God will bless you so that those that see you may be able to admire the God you worship. Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? So the plan of the enemy is to bring people out of the faith. When you're out of the faith, you're out of the spirit. Because the just shall walk by faith, not by sight. So meaning whatever that you might be going through does not affect you when you are a child of God. Say, I walk by faith, not by sight. That you left your house without a dollar does not mean that you are coming back with nothing. When you are walking by faith. I hear what I'm saying. I hear what I'm saying. When you are walking by faith. The Bible says all things work it for the good. That is the confession of men that walk by faith. So the enemy has a project over people's lives. When you read your Bible, you realize that the Bible speaks in the book of Romans chapter number 8. Verse 6 going down. And the Bible comes to a place where it explains that to be carnally minded is death. But to be spiritually minded is life. That the enemy understands that with his plan, that the plan that he has made, he wants to make sure that number one, there is seduction to bring men out of the faith. These are the, these are the ways the enemy wants to bring men out of the faith. Seduction. Seduction. And number two, doctrine. There can never be doctrine without information. There can never be doctrine without information. Many people all of us in this world, most of the places in life where we are suffering is because we have not been given information. Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? There was somebody in the morning who was speaking about Africa. And they spoke a statement where they said that have you realized that most of the times investors that come to invest, when they come, they will come to buy raw materials, send them to their countries, create the finished product, and after that sell the finished product to the country that they bought the raw materials. So, when they say they are empowering you through investment, actually they are not empowering you because if they were to empower you, they would empower you to improve yourself with the resources you have. Now, that is, what, that is the plan of the enemy even spiritually. Many people have resources, many people have gifts and talents. But do you know that most of the people that benefit from what you have benefit more than what you think they are benefiting? Do you, know that the, do you know that in a company, people that make the company move are even more educated than the person who opened the company? But the salary, they think they are being paid a high salary. Actually, the person who owns the company is benefiting more than that high salary. So the enemy makes sure and leaves you in a loop. So, there are things spiritually that I want to speak about that the enemy has done and the enemy has been doing for years. So the Balaam's advice was one of the most dangerous advices in the Bible because the Bible declares that at a time when Balaam had tried now to defeat the children of Israel because Balak said to Balaam, I want you to come and kiss the children of Israel. So that I might fight them. He has the physical weapons to fight. But he understands that unless they are dislodged spiritually, my weapons may not be effective. Someone is not catching me. 
The enemy understands that if I do not dislodge them spiritually, physically, no matter how rich, empowered, wealthy I am, I cannot overcome them. So whenever I tell us that, what becomes attractive is not what you have physically but spiritually. Because even those that have physically value men that are carrying spiritual things. Amen. Oh, you are not hearing me. Amen. You are not hearing me. Amen. You see a man with Lamborghinis, Ferraris, sitting on the ground of a man who is spiritual. Not even, not even on a chair, on the floor. With all the monies they have, they understand that men that carry spiritual things are the most dangerous men ever. That is the advantage that believers have, especially when they enter into the marketplace and positions of politics and whatever field or uh, academic uh, profession that they might have. That they are not just getting into those places out of qualifications. But there is something spiritual that they are endorsed on. That when they enter like Daniel, entering a country where he enters as a slave, he arrives in that country and the Bible declares that among three vice presidents, he became the head of all of them. Just enter a man who was the king. So imagine getting to a place where you enter into a country as a slave. And after entering in a country as a slave, the man becomes one of the biggest prime ministers. And he gets to that position not out of qualification or vote, but out of the gifting and spiritual apparatus that he carried, only that he could see in the spirit. My communicate to somebody here. Amen. Shout, I hear, I hear. Amen. That he carried something in the spirit. Gave him power. Do you know that if you can carry spiritual insight, even in a company where there are people that are educated, but if you are able to have capacity to speak and tell people, this deal will not come to pass. If you're able to carry capacity to, to, to directly to know this person is a scammer. <laughs> capacity to say, today when we come out, we will meet with a person, that person will connect her to this person. Do you know that you can be given a position more than those that are qualified? Believers must understand why they have an advantage in the spirit. And one of the things to pray is, God, give me insight. If you are able to predict tomorrow, even the president would want you in his house every day. Ah, you are not hearing me. You are not Amen. hearing me. You are not hearing me. You are not hearing me. You are not hearing me. Amen. Spiritual men are the most needed. So Balaam was paid by the king. And the king said, I want you to come to my nation. There are the children of Israel are around my nation. I want you, when you come, curse them. So that I can fight them. Why can't you fight them? No, they need to be cursed first. The word curse means empowered to fail. So when you're empowered to fail, it does not matter what you do. And Balaam, had, the Bible says that the specialty of Balaam was that if he curses a person, even heaven will curse the person. You are not hearing so kings would send an entourage, not because the man is something special, no, but because the man has ability to speak in heaven and the spirituality response. Somebody say, I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> imagine, 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 imagine right now if you are given power, power, power. That whatever you speak is established. And whatever you say no, it becomes a law. There is no other qualification you need 
except that spiritual power. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Are you hearing what I'm saying? Your academic level can just be in addition. So why is the enemy trying to dilute believers so that believers can just get to a place where they accept everything? It's so that they can be diluted so that we can only be orators, preachers, lecturers, talkative mangoose, orators, mumushias, lecturers, but no power. No power. No power. With big stomachs like this, where you have people that are just buying you cold drink, cold drink, and you are eating, you think it's a blessing that people have just blessed. No! The enemy is a, is a project that you become so carnal that you are dead spiritually. You have no power. When you look at a person who has power, when they look at you like this, you think twice. Somebody shout power. power. Somebody shout power. Do you know that Jesus had power that when they came to arrest him, the Bible says they came to arrest him, he, he looked at them and he asked them, who have you come to arrest? They say Jesus. And the Bible says that they staggered and fell around two times. Power. That they were now afraid to approach. When Elijah was in the mountain, they came to arrest him. He said, if I be a prophet of God, let fire come down from heaven. Three camps of 50 men were burnt, roasted, dried. They were nowhere to be seen, even bones. Even their families were just told, no, they went to arrest a prophet. But they were burnt to ashes. So they just went there, they just went there on the, oh. <laughs> they just arrived at the Brian Resort with just a <laughs> a cornerstone. <laughs> you can't dig. <laughs> because there is nothing to dig. Even the bones are ashes. So if it was now, they would just come with a stick with a cross and put it there. <laughs> they died here. <laughs> this is where they perished. Power. 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 When, when you carry power, People were following John the Baptist, leaving cities to go into the wilderness. Power. People of God, if there is anything that you must seek in these days, it is power. There was a man called St. Patrick. That the king of England said there is no man I fear on earth except the prayers of St. Patrick. <laughs> Yalaka Barada. The man would pray, you never hear him utter words like Hannah. But wherever he is, he's bubbling inside. At a time, the Bible says that at a time St. Patrick's arrived at a place where they were, where, where in an island and he was beaten by a snake and he grabbed the snake and said, you and your kind, you will never exist till today. That kind of a snake does not exist. Power. Power. There were people like a Trinkuman. Who even if you are a man you want to propose it, the moment you look at her, you begin to cry for your sins. Power. 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 You look at her like this. Oh, you begin to cry for forgiveness. Imagine Ready to propose, you, you, you let go of the agenda. Something overtakes you. My God, get into somebody. My God, get into somebody. Power. 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 They were, they, you, you carry power that people give you things without you asking. Power. Power. Power attracts. Power. Hey, my God, get into somebody. Am I going to get in somebody? Power. 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 
The enemy wants believers to get to a place where they are no longer operating in power. The enemy wants believers to operate in a place where they are just vague and in vain. Where we are so much mumushas or talkative and we, we run our mouths with like water but we have no power. Why? We have diluted ourselves. We talk more about prayer but we can't pray. 30 minutes into prayer, we are already sleeping. Yet there are, there are men like Apostle Baba Lola who knelt down on a place. Knelt down on a ground until when you go to that place, there, there are holes of his knees. The men said, let us pray. Kabada, brutos apalata, Church members got tired, left, came back tomorrow. He was still there. They left him. <laughs> His sweat was like water. It flowed like water. The sweat. The men praying. Hear my Jamie very well. There is a time you now need to come to a place where you become an uncompromised believer. Amen. Am I communicating to somebody? An uncompromised believer. So the enemy takes advantage. The enemy takes advantage of ignorance. Things you choose to ignore. There are things that God speaks to you and tells you. Have you ever seen that there are things as a person, not, I'm not talking yet as high level spirituality, as a person, when you do them, you feel, I've emptied myself. I've disconnected from a, very, a channel in the spirit. And the enemy wants you to do those things more. Am I communicating with somebody? The enemy wants you to continuously do those things more. Oh. Oh. Imagine a preacher. A preacher. A pre Do you know how preachers have died? Do you know how preachers have died? The enemy will just put a project. No matter how big Samson was, the enemy made a project. Delilah was the project, but Delilah was not the beginning. I'm already finishing. I will touch on projects later. Delilah was the project, but Delilah was not the beginning. So she had to see a beautiful woman in Timna first. That should love who was a Philistine. God pushed him there. What God wanted was to provoke the what? The Philistines. So the woman in Timna, God wanted the Philistines to provoke with Samson. But do you know that God never wanted Samson to, to be doing women? No. The lie light was not God. The woman in team that was God. And the enemy caught it and said, all right. You have tested. So you have appetite. So he started with women. And the enemy made the Delilah. Delilah says, Jude, Samson drained him, asked him until Samson vomited the secret. A mighty man fell like a spaghetti. David was a man after God's heart. But David, his weakness were women. Do you know that David had weakness for women to a point whereby when he was sick, when they wanted to test if, as, if he was still alive, they had to put two virgins, one on the right, one on the left. When they woke up in the morning and saw that the king did not do anything, they said the king is gone. Even in sickness, <laughs> to test, to test, even in sickness. <laughs> Imagine if, 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 if your whole company knows that if you want to test if the king is okay, put a woman. 
Not food. <laughs> not, not prayer. <laughs> Put a woman. That was the downfall of David. That was his downfall. That even when he had not married, the Bible says, and, and so wanted to give David her daughter to be a snake. Are you checking satanic projects? Satanic projects. The young prophet who went to the old prophet, his own weakness was not girls. His own weakness was his mouth. That even God, when telling him, he told him, after you prophesy, don't come from the way you came with. And number two, don't eat. Please, imagine God begging a person, don't eat. Because this person has a voracious appetite. That God himself begs the prophet, I know you are accurate. Don't eat. So, the project of the enemy was now, the only way to attack this man is not through women. Food. Many years ago, there's a statement I used to preach and I would say, foodfulness affects truthfulness. He died because of what? Am I going to get him somebody? You can't be full and be filled. <laughs> so we are going to pray. And your prayer in the few means, God, endow me with power in my days. Endow me with power in my days. Hear me and hear me very well. What to make you to be spoken about, it is power. What to make people to look for you, it is power. What to make people hear me? There is a power. It's not just power to, to say, come on. No! There are different levels of power. There is power that God can give you that you become a territorial commander intellectually. There is power that God can give you economical power. There is power that can give you spiritual power, prophetic power. I want you to pray tonight and say, Lord, I will not depart from faith and don't me with power. I will defend the faith and dome me with power. To defend you need power and dome me with power. See me what you what power will do. It will take you from where you are to a place you've never been. What to make a person to be promoted? It is power. It is only someone in power that will make it to be promoted. Hear me and hear me very well. That is why when you have money to buy a car, you say, I have buying power. I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name that is above every other name, wherever you are under the sound of my voice, may the Lord endow you with power. Whatever the enemy has been using whatever the enemy has been orchestrating to make sure you are not operating in power in the mighty name and the blood of Jesus. Let it be destroyed. Let it be destroyed. Every plan of the enemy against your life, against your finances, against your career, let it be destroyed in the mighty name and the blood of Jesus. I decree and I declare parakatoma nakatai, leprakatoma nakataya, whatever satanic project that the enemy has been using against your life in the mighty name and the blood of Jesus. That project, I command it right now. Be thou destroyed. Be thou destroyed. Be thou destroyed in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, you will not fail. I say you will not fail. You will not fail. You will not fail. In the mighty name and the blood of Jesus, begin to pray. Speak over your destiny. Begin to pray. Speak over your life. Begin to pray. Decree and declare your life is secured. Whatever the enemy had stolen from you, I decree and I declare, let it be restored in the mighty name and the blood of Jesus. The Bible declares, I shall not die. I decree, there shall not be premature death over your life, over your family, over your business, over your destiny. I decree and I declare, your hands after today 
the blessing of the Lord that make it rich and there's no sorrow in the mighty name and the blood of Jesus I decree and I declare an overflow may the Lord God of heaven allow you to be established you cannot be moved you cannot be moved whatever you are doing in life your gifting your career your business your expertise I command angels to begin to assist you be and do it with power 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 may the power of the living God come upon you be thou and do it with power in the name of Jesus, Makabaraka Tualata, Zekeboros Katam Belekata, Yagabaraka Dakata, Yakapalakata, Egebrekatom Balakata, be endured with power, be endured with power, be endured with power in the mighty name of the blood of Jesus. My God, somebody decree and say, Oh Lord, I decree and I declare. That every obstacle that the enemy has set in front of me is being removed. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, I lift up my voice. Hear me from your heaven and bless me. Oh Lord, I lift up my voice. Hear me from heaven and bless me. Say, Father, as I pray, anything... The enemy has been using to delay me, to disturb me by the power of the Holy Ghost. Be removed out of my life. Be removed out of my life. Be removed out of my life. In the name of Jesus. Say, oh Lord, I decree and I declare, whatever I touch, may it be empowered by you. May it be empowered by you. May it be empowered by you. As I pray, amplify my efforts. 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 Whatever I do, may I see your mighty hand. May I see your mighty hand. May I see your mighty hand. Say, oh Lord, may doors be opened in my life from the east, from the south, from the north, and from the west. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, shout, O oh Lord, as I pray, I decree and I declare that everything around me is blessed and every case is broken, is broken, is broken, is broken. Every case is broken. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Say, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost. Every spirit of the Western does not have authority over my life. I rebuke the devourer. Therefore, oh Lord, rebuke the devourer for my sake. Say, I rebuke the devourer. Therefore, oh Lord, rebuke the devourer for my sake. My wealth shall not be taken. My health shall not be taken. The works of my hands shall not be taken. As Ecclesiastic says, that enjoying the fruit of your labor is grace. I pray that blessing be upon me now. I will enjoy the fruit of my labor. I will enjoy the fruit of my labor. I will enjoy the fruit of my labor. In the name of Jesus, I pray every curse that has been destroying people in my family. Every negative spirit, word, spoken against my life, against my family. Be silenced! Be silenced! In the name of Jesus. May the good Lord bless you. May the good Lord keep you. I pray wherever you are watching from, that may the Lord endure you with power. May you be able to defend your faith. That you may live a faith lifestyle. That you may walk not by sight but by faith. That you may walk by the resources that God brings to you. In the mighty name and the blood of Jesus. I decree, be thou blessed. Be thou increased. God bless you. God be with you.